Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Chase Bank debit cards and your Apple Pay wallet. And more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've gotten a lot recently. And that is how do you add your Chase Bank debit card into your Apple Pay wallet as a payment method? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is gonna be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna add your Chase debit card into your Apple Pay wallet? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you just opened up a bank with Chase and you know it's easy to pay with your Apple Pay wallet using your debit card. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process and it's all handled here in the Apple Pay wallet. It's this colorful wallet looking thing right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my Apple Pay wallet now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my Apple Pay wallet. This is the home screen here where you're going to see all of the different cards that you have attached to your Apple Pay wallet. However, in order to connect your Chase Bank debit card to Apple Pay wallet, first what you want to do is click on this plus sign button here on the top right. Once you click there, you will see a drop down menu. However, in order to connect your Chase debit card to your Apple Pay wallet, click on this line right here called debit or credit card. Once you click there, it gives you a little bit more information about Apple Pay and your debit card. Go ahead and read through it. If it looks good to you, go ahead and click on this blue continue button. Next, your Apple Pay wallet opens up the camera so you can easily scan your Chase debit Visa card, or you can do what I do and click on this enter card details manually button here at the bottom written in blue. Next, you do need to enter in the 16 digit Chase debit Visa card number. So I'm going to do that off screen. Okay, I did enter in the card details. I'm gonna click on this blue next button here on the top right. Next, I do need to enter in the expiration date and three digit security code from the back of my Chase debit card. Okay, I entered in those details. I'm gonna click on this blue next button here on the top right. All right, it's adding to the card. It's still thinking. Just a few seconds later, it gives me the terms and conditions. So go ahead and read through that. If it looks good to you, click on this blue agree button. Okay, next Chase does need to verify that it is me that is authorizing adding my Chase Bank debit card into Apple Pay Wallet. And your bank might be a little bit different if you're trying with a different bank, but they're going to send me an email or a text message, or I can call into their customer service. For me, text message is easier, so I'm gonna choose text. Once I've chosen the verification method, I'm gonna click on next here on the top right. Okay, Chase just sent me a text message verification code, so I'm going to enter in that numeric digit here. Okay, next I get this pop-up saying that my Chase Bank debit card has been added into my Apple Pay Wallet, and I get the option to choose this as my default card when I am paying with Apple Pay Wallet. I'm not gonna do that, but that's really up to you. So I'm gonna click on not now. Okay, this refreshes, and now I can choose to add this Chase Bank debit card into my Apple Watch at the same time. I'm not gonna do that, so I'm gonna click on done. And just a quick second later, the page refreshes, and it brings me back here to my wallet on Apple Pay. And as you can see, my Chase Bank debit card is now added into my Apple Pay wallet, so I can use it to pay with Apple Pay. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to connect your Chase Bank debit Visa card into to your Apple Pay wallet and use it as a payment method, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.